Hi, we're going to be looking at gas mixtures. The problem statement we're given is a storage tank at 180 Kelvin and 2 megapascals includes 2 kilograms of a mixture of 50% argon and 50% nitrogen by mole. They want us to determine the volume of the storage tank using A, the ideal gas method, and B, Kai's rule. So what we're told is that the temperature of the tank is 180 Kelvin. The pressure of the tank is 2 megapascals. Our mass total is 2 kilograms. Our mole fraction of argon is 0 0.5. And our mole fraction of nitrogen is also 0 0.5. If we start by using the ideal gas method, what we're going to need is to find our molar mass for our, our mixture. We can say that the molar mass of our mixture, or the molar mass total, is equal to the sum of the mole fractions for our different components times the molar mass of that component itself. So we get that the molar mass total for our mixture is 0 0.5 times the molar mass of argon, 39.5. 948 plus 0 0.5 times the molar mass of nitrogen, 28.013. We get that our total molar mass is equal to 33.9805 kilograms per kilomole. And then we can use our ideal gas law, PV equals MR specific T, and we know that R specific is equal to R universal divided by the molar mass. So we get that our volume is equal to our mass times R universal times temperature divided by the molar mass of our mixture times the pressure. This gives us 2 times 8.314 times our temperature in Kelvin, 180, divided by the molar mass that we solved for, 33.9805, times our pressure in kilopascals, 2,000. And this gives us a volume of 0.044 meters cubed using the ideal gas method. Now let's find our volume using Kay's rule. Kay's rule estimates pseudo-critical properties of mixtures as averages of pure component critical properties. What this means is we have the pseudo-critical temperature is equal to the sum of the mole fraction times the critical temperature of that component. And the pseudo-critical pressure is equal to the sum of the mole fraction times the critical pressure of that component. Then we can find our pseudo-reduced temperatures as the temperature divided by the pseudo-critical temperature and the pseudo-reduced pressure as the pressure divided by the pseudo-critical pressure. So we get that our pseudo-critical pressure is equal to 0 0.5 times the critical pressure of our different components, which we can get from tables. This is 4.87 megapascals plus 0 0.5 times 3.39 megapascals. This gives us 4.13 MPa. We can also find our pseudo-critical temperature using the same tables and our different values plus 0 0.5 times 126.2, and this gives us 138.5 Kelvin. We then find our pseudo-reduced pressure. This is 2 megapascals divided by 4.13. This gives us 0 0.484. Our pseudo-reduced temperature is 180 divided by 138.5. That gives us 1.30. With these values from our table, 
we can read that our z value is equal to 0 0.925. This is from the chart. And then we get that our volume is going to be equal to z times mass. Our r specific, which we said was r universal, divided by our molar mass for our mixture. Temperature divided by pressure. So this gives us our r specific. This gives us 0 0.925 times 2 times 8.314 times 180 divided by 33.9805 times 2,000. And we get that our volume is 0 0.0407 meters cubed.